What were you checking here, Sammy? Whether a watermelon floats or sinks, and can you imagine it didn't sink? Yeah, I'm a genius. Uh, Sammy, if you're so into watermelons, I'll show you several fun ideas that don't involve flooding our apartment. <laughs> uh. Really? I can't wait to try all your watermelon ideas. Oh, wait, Mr. Great Scientist. We should clean the floor first. Uh, okay, Susie. Hey guys, today we'll show you several cool watermelon ideas. Let's get going. First, cut the top of the watermelon off. Be careful with sharp objects. Or ask an adult to help you. Call Sam, guys. <laughs> yeah. Wow, chips! Are we going to eat them? Sammy, eating watermelon and chips together is not the best idea. Though they do eat watermelon with salty cheese in some countries. Uh, what? <laughs> cheese? You know I don't eat cheese even in chips. Don't you worry, those were chips. And now it's just a can. We'll need it to make watermelon chips. You have to place the opening into the watermelon pulp. And then carefully press the can in. Guys, I think Sue just ruined the watermelon. Ugh, it was probably delicious. Ta-da! Now all we need to do is slice it. There. Very easy. Smells delicious. Awesome. Wow, it's so cool. Wait, I want a slice too. I'll go get a plate. I'll be here. I won't go anywhere. Oh. Sammy. <laughs> Sam, can you please bring a coin from the piggy bank? We'll need it for our next experiment. Here you go. Thank you, Sammy. Well, guys, heads or tails. And we're about to see. Guys, don't you think that Sue's being weird? I was just practicing my acting skills. And now look what we've got here. Shiver me cheddars, I have the sharpest coin in the world. As any other coin in the world. Well, shall we crack our watermelon open? Let's go! Sue! So, I didn't even think you could do that! It was awesome! Thank you, Sammy! Guys, you want to see more tricks in new videos? And give this video lots of likes! I'm watching you! I'll show you one more trick with this watermelon. For starters, we need to get all the pulp out. Sammy, you burst! Looks like a bowl. Uh-huh. We'll need 100 grams of red gummy bears. Oh, my precious. 1.5 liters of drinking water. Now we'll turn the stove on carefully. Uh, Susie, what's going on? Just you wait, Sammy. I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, then. And done. Now we'll pour it into our watermelon. Mmm, smells so good, Susie. And we'll put it in the fridge. I can't wait to see it. In the meantime, guys, comment and tell me which of our watermelon ideas you like best. Look, Sammy, we made a real watermelon jelly. Guys, be very careful with sharp objects. Sammy, this is amazing, isn't it? Woo! Mmm, guys, I'd love to treat you too. It's fabulous. By the way, does this jelly remind you of anyone? I love jelly! <laughs> guys, we saved our most interesting trick for the very end. Make sure you have your watermelon sitting on a table this way, where it doesn't tumble over. This is going to be a real watermelon eruption. 
we need to cut a small slice of watermelon like this. We'll remove our little tail. And ice cream scoop will make things easier. And now let's take some pulp out to make a hole. Have a little more patience. By the way, where did Sam go? Four mints should be enough. All we need to do now is pour some soda in. Be sure not to pour too much. Is that why you were away for so long? <laughs> Guys, I think Sam wants to know whether you liked his show. Give this video lots of likes to make our Sammy happy. Oh, I think I hear a lot of likes. You loved it that much, huh? Ah, oh, thank you. I'm so happy. Change the shape of the hole a little for our next hack. Sammy, you're on. I'm ready, Susie. Okay, let's mash it a little. I'm gonna take it down. Mischievous Sam in action. <laughs> Voila, now we have delicious watermelon juice. Uh, only it's not too convenient to pour it. Good job, Sammy. I know what we should do. We'll just put a water dispenser into the watermelon. Hail the great Tibi Daba! <laughs> There. It fits perfectly. Sam, hurry up and get glasses. Ready. Wow, thank you. And... Sue, could you fill my glass, please? Sure, Sammy. Awesome! Oh, delicious. Yes, Sammy. Oh, too much watermelon. Sam, you shouldn't have eaten that much. Let's come up with ideas for another kind of fruit next time. I think I've had enough of watermelon for a year. Guys, comment and tell us what kind of fruit you'd like to see in our videos. We'll be sure to read it. Well, I'm feeling better now. Subscribe to our channel, guys, not to miss the next video. Bye-bye. See you later. Going to save you from this heat, a cold watermelon. What? Just one watermelon? No, one watermelon isn't gonna help, and soon there will be a mere puddle instead of Sam. Hey, Drama Llama, do you know how many cooling treats you can make out of one watermelon? No. Hi, guys. Once again, it's watermelon mood time. Be very careful with the knife. Ask an adult to help you. First of all, you need to cut the watermelon in half. What a wonderful scent. Watermelon. I'm ready to observe. Observer, aren't you going to help me? It's too hot. Oh, I see. Well, I think these wonderful watermelon balls will cool you down quickly. <laughs> Let's find out. Sam, wait. First, we need to make the aesthetic component of this dish. S what? Huh, and you call yourself a great decorator. We'll make a beautiful basket from the rind. Oh, yes, yes, I approve. Our watermelon basket will be decorated with these pretty notches. Be very careful, guys. Ask an adult to help you with this step. Guys, I'm sure you all like watermelons. Give a like to confirm my theory. Done. It's time to fill it with watermelon balls. Which one to 
cake. Mm -hmm. uh, this one? Yes! Mm -hmm. Delicious. Go ahead and enjoy it, and I'll get on to the next craft. Right. Hmm. I see. Aha! Uh -huh. What are you studying, Mr. Detective? My deductive method is telling me that you're going to make ice cream. Not quite ice cream, but it'll be watermelon popsicles. Is there a difference? Hmm. Well, actually, yes. The ingredients for ice cream and... Oh, well, Sue, I'm just kidding. And you're about to read a lecture about ice cream. And in this heat, too. We'll make watermelon popsicles, and it'll cool you down even more. Like this. Very easy. We need to wait now. What? Six whole hours? Of course, freezing takes time. Done. Let's pull it out carefully. Wow. wow. It's the most beautiful watermelon popsicle in the world. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see even more of such a beautiful food. Delicious and so refreshing. I'm so refreshed, I'll make the next treat myself. Psst! I thought I'd tell you a secret! I know how to make watermelon popsicles without freezing. Oh, that's interesting. What do I need to do? Cut the watermelon along the lines I drew. Okay. I'm cutting it. Uh, what is your method called? A watermelon hedgehog. What a wonderful name! <laughs> so what comes next? Next, take these skewers and stick them into the watermelon. Try to do it symmetrically. Okay, I'll do my best. Does it look good? Yes, yes. You're a wonderful assistant, Sue. Thank you, Sammy. Now you need to equip yourself with a knife again and cut the watermelon across between the skewers. Like this? Yes, yes. Don't stop. And? And that's it. Pull it out by the skewer. Okay. And you get a watermelon popsicle. Oh, so beautiful. Susie, I had no idea you could make so many delicious things from one watermelon. Are you refreshed? Yes, absolutely. Then it's time for experiments. Uh, where did you get another watermelon? I hit it. Samantha and I wanted to try out the watermelon experiment with rubber bands. How many rubber bands can the watermelon take before exploding? Whoa! Then I'll be handing you the rubber bands! Phew! Then come! Watermelon experiment, we begin. Remember that you should do all experiments under adult supervision. Take cover! It's gonna blow! <laughs> Not yet, Sammy! Give a thumbs up and write in the comments which watermelon hack you liked best. And if you press the bell button, you won't miss any new videos on our channel. Bye-bye! Watermelon? Hey, Sam! Earth to Sam! Watermelon! I can see that, and? Watermelon! Sammy, you're scaring me! What? What? Watermelon mood, the most cheerful mood in the world! Oh, that's what it is. That's why we have all these watermelon items. Yes, yes! I want a watermelon and, and a craft something out of it! 
yummy. Watermelons are a summertime treat. They're harder to get in the winter. Unless it's jelly. Ugh, jelly. So give it here. <laughs> Aww. Mmm. Watermelon has a really pleasant fresh taste. <laughs> give a thumbs up if you agree. I'll tell you this, Susie. You're not the only one who can do magic. Wait for it. Wow, a real watermelon! Sammy, it's amazing! Thank you, thank you! What do you want to do with this watermelon? Well, if you recall, our last video with the watermelon dispenser became quite popular. Give a thumbs up if you saw that video! So, we need to make one more watermelon dispenser. Here, I drew a draft for ya. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks! And also, instead of an ordinary tap, we're going to use this elegant thing. Sammy, you even thought of that? There's one thing left for me to do, to make a watermelon dispenser. Yay! Watermelon mood rule! Hi guys! Today, we're going to have an incredibly summery watermelon craft. And this time, we have this equipment to extract watermelon juice. Look! This kit has an instrument to make a hole in the watermelon. There's a spoon for the pulp on the other end. Convenient! And there's this stylish cap. With a lever. So, we need to craft something special. Last time we didn't have a stand! Oh, right! We'll move this aside. And pull this closer. I got it! You need to… Sammy, thanks. I've already studied your, uh, draft. Fine, call me if you need anything. Fine, fine. We're going to need this round piece. And we need to measure this flexible cardboard so it can wrap around the cardboard circle. Huh. This flexible cardboard is a bit long. I need to measure the required length. There! Susie, I wanted to learn more about watermelons, so I wrote out a few most interesting facts. Oh? Well, read them. I really want to know. Well, it turns out that watermelons are from the same family as pumpkins. They have seeds like fruit, but they're more of a vegetable. Oh, interesting. Pumpkin is sweet, too. We can make juice from it. Yes, but I like watermelon more. And you guys? Pumpkin? Or watermelon? Uh, write in the comments. Whatcha making? I'm making the base, see? Oh, awesome! My idea is starting to shape. Yes. Now we need to glue these two pieces together neatly. Remember to be careful with hot glue. The glue should be applied a little bit away from the edge. Like this. Then I'll place the round piece here and wrap the flexible piece around it. Did you know that you can eat all the watermelon parts? Even the rind? The rind, too? No, I didn't. I tried chewing the rind, but it isn't tasty. It should probably be cooked in some way. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I've got it written here. In China, they fry, dry, and pickle the rind. Huh, pickled watermelon. Curious. Oh, this looks more like a stand now. Aha, we also need to glue a support for the watermelon. Go on, glue it. I'll go get smaller pieces I've made. I'm surprised. How did you manage it all? Ah, it's watermelon energy. Whoosh! <laughs> watermelon fuel for Sam. To make the support, I'll need these cardboard rings. And a strip of flexible cardboard of this size with a round opening. That's where the juice tap will go. I'll glue the cardboard strip to the rings. Nice and slow. Sam, which pieces did you prepare? Handles, of course. Handles? Yes, to carry our watermelon dispenser around. Oh, I see. All right, we'll finish making this piece and start on the handle. Carefully. There. Great. And the handles for our dispenser are made of these two pieces and two strips of cardboard. Hop. And hop. <laughs> We need two of these. Let's glue them to the sides. I'll apply a bit of glue here. And while you're gluing, I'll share another fact. There are 1,200 kinds of watermelon! Not only red, but yellow, different sizes, with seeds and without, and uh, so on. Wow! I'd love to try all of them! Yes! I'll write each kind I try into my watermelon notepad. <laughs> Alright. And our stand is ready! Time for the watermelon! 
At this step, make sure to ask an adult to help you, because we need to work with a knife here. Let's cut out the cap. Oh, it's crunchy! And one more. Oh, this scent is absolutely amazing! Hmm, it's calling to me. Very soon, we're going to drink the juice. I need to blend up the pulp first. Oh, go on, blend it. I'll be around. Right, I need to check if Sue's doing it correctly. Uh -huh. All right, uh -huh. yeah, Sam, it's done. I'm coming. Let's place our watermelon onto the stand carefully. Got it. Holding? Yep, it is. Yay! Right now, let's make an opening in the watermelon with the special tool. There's nothing to be afraid of. We've emptied the watermelon. Now the tap? Now the tap. Let's screw it in tightly. So easy. Now we can pour our blended and strained pulp in. It's become juice now. There. And close it with the cap. I brought the glasses and I'm ready to enjoy it. Let's do it. Let's check out this watermelon device. <gasps> Holy cannoli, it's a working! Wow. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. Yum. Mm. Ah. Wow. There. We made a wonderful watermelon dispenser. Susie, how long will we do when the watermelon juice runs out? Well, you can pour in any other drink that goes well with watermelon flavor. Oh, I need to make a list of such drinks. Go on. And meanwhile, I'll enjoy the juice. Hmm. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like today's craft. And subscribe to the channel not to miss new videos from Sam. Bye-bye. Right. Watermelon and coffee. Oh, no, no, no. Watermelon and water. Yes. Watermelon and soda. A big yes. Yeah, this heat today is exhausting. I'm telling you, there's nothing good in summer. Come on, Sammy. It's not hot every day. And what about swimming, eating watermelons? Watermelons? Well, of course. <laughs> Refreshing watermelon crafts. That's what we need. Great idea, Sammy. Guys, check out what we have here. A big, beautiful, and so summery watermelon. Just look at its striped skin and try to imagine its pulp. Mmm, my mouth is already watering. We all know how much you like watermelons, Sue. Hi, everyone! <laughs> That's right. And today, we'll make a few cool and very delicious crafts using this marvelous fruit. Guys, ask an adult to help you divide your watermelon into two approximately equal parts. Everybody should always be careful with the knife, you know. And voila! Oh, it's so bright! Awesome! I am ready to dig in! Hold it. Nobody's eating just yet. But thank you for the spoon. Now we need to set our fruit free from its pulp. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Spoon by spoon. This is what you should get, guys. Ahem, Susie, there's somebody waiting for you. <laughs> Sammy, it must have taken you so long to gather all these gummy bears together. Ah, that's okay. You know that I like to be helpful. That's true. Guys, be very careful and never use the cooker without adult supervision. Here come our gummy bears! Hop! Followed by drinking water. How's that hot tub feeling, guys? And now we'll add a tiny bit of watermelon-flavored gelatin. Perfect! Oh, this is gonna be great! And very tasty! we're making here. If you did, then give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't, watch closely. Here we go. Mmm, this totally looks mesmerizing, right? Perfect. Now we'll use our favorite frozen magic. Are you ready, Sammy? I was 
going ready. Ahem. Well, did it work? Like a charm. <laughs> Let's use our knife once more. Be careful with it, guys. This way. Yeah. And voila! A perfect watermelon jelly is served. Let's try it. Tasty. I wonder what's next. <laughs> Sammy, come on! What? I was simply cosplaying the baby shark! Yeah, and you happened to give the guys a hint about our next craft! Really? Are we gonna make a watermelon trick? Right you are! Once again, we need to cut our watermelon into two parts. But this time, one of them should be bigger. We'll draw the shark's mouth using a dry erase marker. Make it bigger, Susie! Sharks have a huge mouth, you know. I'm aware of that, Sammy, don't worry. And that's it! As you probably already guessed, guys, the next step will be to cut this part out. You gotta be really careful here. This way. You can always ask an adult to help you! Crafting together is fun and safe! Whoa, what a job! She could easily swallow me! <laughs> Don't you know that not all sharks are ruthless predators? Guys, we're gonna carve the shark's teeth. Let's start from the bottom jaw. Wait a second. Are you implying that there are vegetarian sharks somewhere? Uh-huh, the scientists were quite surprised themselves when they discovered that the diet of the so-called bonnethead shark consists mostly of seaweed. Oh my! This world never stops surprising me! Do you agree, guys? Then give us a thumbs up! In the meantime, we're halfway through. Just look at these teeth, guys. Cool, huh? Let's speed up with the upper jaw, though. Whoosh! Just a tiny bit left, guys. We need to make these scary teeth look neater. We'll just cut off the green part of the peel so that the light greenish part becomes visible like this. Holy cannoli, we're doing it work, Sue! Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> hmm, I guess we're missing something. The fin, maybe? Right, Sammy. This way. Great! But how are we going to eat all that tasty pulp that's been left inside? Actually, I was hoping you could help me out. Can I? Really? Awesome! <laughs> all done! Great job, Sammy! Here comes one last touch. Blueberry eyes! And that's it! Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen! Check out what Sue is doing! <laughs> what are you up to this time, Sue? Oh, trust me, you're gonna love this! I'm gonna give you a hint. Ta-da! Mmm, tasty watermelon slices that do look like the layers of a cake! Yay, you guessed! And the best part is that we don't need to bake it! Isn't that cool, guys? So what? No sponge cakes, no buttercream! Nope, just fresh and delicious fruit! Check this out! Here we have strawberries, blueberries, and kiwi. Everything perfectly matches in taste. The rest is as simple as it can be. We take the first layer of our cake, cover it with our fruits, and repeat. Now decorations, look at what I found. You're right about time, Sammy. Let's make little stars from fruit now. Ha! And that's it! Come on, Susie, only a few kiwi stars are missing here! There we go! Oh, getting creative is so much fun! <laughs> this is so much yum, if you ask me! <laughs> and here is our amazing fruit cake slash fruit salad in all its glory! Guys, before we start digging into our watermelon crafts, we have some pulp leftovers! So I thought, why don't we make a perfect, refreshing ice cream right now? Or I'd rather say popsicles. <laughs> Pop! While the blender is blending, take a second to subscribe to our channel, people! And that's it! Now we need to carefully distribute this juice over these forms. Like this, guys. You should have some space left over here. And the last one, great! Now these guys are going to the fridge. In the meantime, we're going to work with yogurt! Mmm, yummy! A yogurt? But Sue, 
We already made a watermelon ice cream before, and we didn't deal with something like that back then. Hmm. I know, Sammy, but this time we're doing it differently. Do you mind cleaning the blender while I'm whisking yogurt and sugar? We're gonna need it again. <laughs> Sounds mysterious. I'm on it. Now let's check on our popsicles. Aha, uh -huh, they are just perfectly frozen for me to be able to insert the actual popsicle sticks into them. Here we go. <gasps> That's unbelievable! You got me busy while you're doing the most important part here! Oh, I'm so sorry, Sammy. Here, you can carefully add the yogurt into each ice cream mold. Two spoons will be enough. In the meantime, we'll prepare the final layer of our popsicles. Here come cabbage leaves. I know that might sound strange, but they will give us the perfect greenish color that we desperately need. Now we need to add some ginger and honey. There we go. Hmm. Are you sure that we're still making popsicles here, Sue? <laughs> oh, Sammy. One cup of orange juice. The lid. Uh, and go! Okay, now that the yogurt layer has also become firm, we'll pour this green juice on top of each mold. Like this. And in about three hours in the freezer, our popsicles will be ready! Three hours? Come on! That's what I call the real magic! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Sammy, it worked! Let's see… There you go! Delicious and nutritious summer snack! Mmm! Guys, quick! Let's recollect everything we did today before Sue eats all the popsicles without me! I guess we no longer need this! Guys, thanks for being with us today! Give a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to subscribe! We will amaze you with new crafts very soon! Bye-bye! Okay, one more piece. Mmm! Ugh! So heavy! There! Oh, it's so beautiful! And smells like summer! I haven't even cut it yet. Right, I'll go get everything I need. What smells like summer? Oh, a watermelon. So big! I need to get a piece for myself. The sweetest one. Before Sue comes back. All right. What tools have we got here? isn't easy. And also, they have this thick rind! Oh. <sighs> <sighs> oh no! I don't want all that watermelon mess! Itsy bitsy watermelon! Oh, huh? Why did you give that thing a nickname? Oh, come on! I think it's very cute. Not cute at all! That's it! No more watermelons! I don't want the seeds to stick to me! They won't! Oh, really? Really. Today, we'll be eating the watermelon without Ooh. the rind or seeds bothering us. Ha! Huh. I won't believe it till I see it. Hi, guys! We're in a watermelon mood today. Here, Sam, look! Uh, what am I looking at? Well, this will help us enjoy our watermelon. Sue, so you. you probably overheated. 
can't you see these aren't kitchen utensils? <laughs> I can, Sammy, I can. But I bought this watermelon for a very special reason. To try to get juice out of it in a very interesting way. Shall we try? You don't even have to ask! Guys, if you support our idea, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to repeat this watermelon craft, ask an adult to help you. Be very careful with all the tools. All right, let's take our watermelon and cut a small opening on the top. Like this. Mmm, what a lovely scent. Now I'll take this blade. I've washed it really well. I'll insert the blade into our screwdriver. And I'll make a hole with it. Come on, so you can do it! <laughs> I have to concentrate! This was your one-of-a-kind comedian, Slick Slime Sam. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll continue. Aha! Done! This is the opening we've made. The next stage requires a tap. Like this. Just an ordinary tap. I've washed it too, of course. Let's insert it, Sam! Oh! I thought you were done and I've been waiting for the juice to pour in my No, mouth. Sammy. It's not done yet. I'll insert the tap into the opening like this. Very tight. Now the tap is closed. But the juice will still come out of it? Yes, Sammy, but not right away. Go and choose some pretty glasses for us. Glasses, glasses. Which glasses are for drinking watermelon juice? Hmm. Plastic? Nah, too simple. Oh, these tall ones. Uh, no, they're for something else. Maybe these? For these? Oh, what's going on? So, so I've come right away. Are you all right? Yes, Sammy. Don't worry. I'm just blending the watermelon pulp to make more juice. You're blending the watermelon with a screwdriver? Well, an ordinary blender won't be much use here. The watermelon is so big. Right. Looks like it's done. I'll close the watermelon with the cap I cut out earlier. Hey, Sam? Yes? Where are the glasses? Glasses? Which gla- Oh! Glasses! Well, I uh, didn't have time to pick them. You started worrying with this screwdriver! Well, let's go choose them together. Let's see… Hmm… Um… How about… <gasps> these! Oh! How did you get… Intuition, Sammy. I can tell you would have selected these glasses. I like them too, so we'll take them. Hurry, Susie! I'm so thirsty! Me too, Sammy. But I want to make some finishing touches first. We need to find something to place it on. This? Uh, no, that's for hot things. Hmm. Here, we'll take this bowl. Carefully now. And pour away! The way I like to eat a watermelon. Open and you get only the juice. Very delicious. Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like watermelons and if you liked our craft. And let's get it to 3,000 thumbs up to make sure the summer mood lasts. <laughs> Bye! Hurry and share this video with your friends. Let them get infected with the watermelon mood as well. All right, a pencil, a cutter, a ruler… Hello, guys! Today we're going to make a new house for our hamster, Ginger. I'm just waiting for Sam with the cardboard. Sammy! Uh, Susie, I have some bad news. We've run out of cardboard. Oh, well then… All is lost! Ginger won't get a new house! He'll be so, so sad! No worries, Sammy. We'll draw a house with a pen. <laughs> I've done hamster houses a hundred times, but hamsters can't live in them. 
<laughs> in our house, Ginger will even be able to spend time in the nature. If you really can draw such a house, I'll clean up for a whole week. Deal. Woo! Huh, why does Susie need a ball? She was just going to draw. Seems suspicious. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Here's the pen I'm going to use to draw the house. Do you recognize it? Uh, why should I? <laughs> Sammy, and you call yourself a modern slime? This is a 3D pen. You can use it to draw with plastic. Future technologies at home. Oh, a 3D pen? Why didn't you tell me we've got one? You never asked. You have to show me such things even if I don't ask. <laughs> but then the surprise will be ruined. Uh, you're right. Oh, wait, wait, wait! What's up? It's a hamster house! Yeah? Made of plastic? Oh, I get what you mean. <laughs> don't worry, Sammy. This plastic is absolutely safe for Ginger, even if he tries to taste it. Really? Yes, this is PLA plastic. It's made of mace or sugarcane, and it's completely biodegradable. Oh, then I won't worry. Neither for Ginger nor for the environment. Go on! Uh, I guess I shouldn't have promised to clean up for a whole week. Oopsie! Sammy, aren't you going to sabotage the craft to win? No! <laughs> I want Ginger to have a house. Good. I'm glad you take care of him. Why did you cut it? Well, I needed to take the future house off the ball. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll fix it quickly. This way. Technology. No glue needed. Just remember to be careful. The plastic inside the pen is very hot. The base is ready. Susie, I've drawn houses many times, and I know that there should be windows and doors. Even if the house is made of plastic? Especially if it's made from plastic. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll make a door and a window. We only need to mark the borders. This will be the entrance. And here's the window. Carefully. There. Small and nice. Huh? Are you happy now? Yes! Uh, no! Why is the house so holy? Uh, because it's the base! Ugh. Am I too hasty again? Yes, Sammy. You're too hasty again. You need patience to draw a house like this. Guys, actually our Sammy can be patient, but mostly he likes to do things quickly. What about you? Uh-oh, guys. I guess I'm gonna lose this bet. Give a thumbs up to support my morale, please. There, no more extra holes. It reminds me of something. Really? I wonder what? Well, this house is round. Yeah. And green. Yes, it is. And with stripes. And with stripes. I guess there's one similar thing I love very much. Oh, really? You're making a watermelon-shaped house. <laughs> You're right, Sammy. Guys, do you like watermelon the way I do? Check out our videos about them. All the links are in the description. Even though this house is plastic, it seems I can smell the watermelon. <laughs> Let's make it even more similar to a real one. Sammy, could you bring me a pencil and a piece of paper? Ah, you'll draw the regular way after all. Well, kinda. Then I haven't lost yet. <laughs> we need to understand the dimensions of our house's floor. It's very important not to make a mistake. Aha! I'll use this as a template and draw an outline with the plastic pen. Oopsie, since it was early to celebrate, 3D drawing continues! Now we need to attach our floor to the base. Secure it well! So the floor doesn't fall off. Done! Sue, you didn't forget that watermelons are red inside. Oh, great idea, Sammy. It's just what I need. Ah, you ruined my drawing. It took me five whole minutes to make it. Five minutes? Well, I wouldn't have guessed. Guys, what can you draw in five minutes? Write in the comments. You need a red pen refill. Yes, Sammy, thank you so much. Ugh, 
I just need a little more time. And a wonderful watermelon slice will be ready. I guess you're gonna win our bet. I'm off to find a scoop in a mop. Sammy, Sammy, I'm ready to yield. Really? Yes. If Ginger likes the house, you can do the cleaning for only three days instead of a whole week. All right! I'm gonna go have a word with Ginger. Sammy, don't you even want to see me making the finishing touches in the house decor? Uh, no, I'll see him later. As you say, we need to attach our watermelon slice in front really well using the same plastic. Susie! Ginger says he likes soft floors, so I made this. Whoa, thanks, Sammy. Let's put this soft watermelon carpet here. Hmm, the window's missing something. Hop! That's better. What do you say? Holy cannoli! Susan, I officially declare you the winner. You really managed to draw a hamster house in which it's possible to live. Let's ask Ginger's opinion. Oh, I think he likes it. I'm so happy. Aha! He already brought yummies. Make yourself comfortable. I myself would like to live in such a house. <laughs> you can visit Ginger if you want. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this house. And subscribe to our channel not to miss our new bets, which I'll surely win. Oh, uh, what? Oops, I mean, hit the bell not to miss new videos. Well, let's see what we've got here. Okay, hmm. Hey, Sue, I'm calling on you to make the marvelous craft from scratch without a draft. Hey, Sam, I'm kind of tired, you know. Besides, I'm starving, so I can go crafting. Although, cooking is good, and I'm in the mood, so let's craft and bake a watermelon cake. <laughs> um, are you serious? <laughs> Why not? The watermelon flavor is my favorite, and cakes are yours. It's cooking time! I'm assistant slime! Huh? <laughs> Great idea! In the kitchen, I'll see ya! Yo! Guys, as you might have probably guessed from our little rap battle, today we're going to make a cool watermelon cake. Mmm, my mouth is watering from just thinking about it. <laughs> Bonjour, my dear friends! And as always, we'll start with the batter. That's right! We need to add baking powder and salt to the flour and mix it well. Sammy, this will be your job. I'm on it, Susie! In the meantime, we'll make another mixture. Let's take this amount of room temperature butter and half of a cup of vegetable oil. Great! Two cups of sugar. One… and two! There we go! And this magical watermelon-flavored gelatin. Hmm, it smells like summer! Ahem, guys, when using household appliances, you'd better ask an adult to help you. Now I need to add three eggs to this mixture, one by one. Guys, if you like cooking as much as we do, there are a lot of videos about this on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss the tasty recipes that are yet to come. Here comes the third egg. Keep on mixing. Check out the consistency. Ah, what a smell. Oh, Sue, is that yours? <laughs> yes, it's my favorite vanilla extract. We'll mix all this really well again. Watermelon and vanilla? Hmm, interesting. Now we'll mix our dry ingredients with the batter. All right. <laughs> we need to do it gradually to avoid any lumps. 
give Mix and Sue a thumbs up, guys. Hmm, I've just added 350 milliliters of buttermilk in here. But I don't really like the shade of this batter. Hmm, huh? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> what would you say about this, Susie? <gasps> That's what we need, Sammy. Red. Well done. Let's add some drops of food coloring here. And mix it really well. Now we'll add some pink to make it look more natural. Here we go. Guys, you're gonna need to add red, pink, and burgundy food coloring to get the perfect watermelon shade. Wow, I really like how this one turned out. How about you guys? Then give us a thumbs up! Okay, we're going to have four sponge cake layers. So we need to divide our batter into four even parts. Ahem, a quick tip from Chef Samuel. Spray the cake pan with a non-stick cooking spray. <laughs> Great, now nothing will stick to the baking pan. Here comes our first future sponge cake. Wow, that's awesome! There you go. Whoa, mesmerizing! I could watch this all day long. Uh, what are you doing? Watermelon seeds, of course. Now we'll bake it in the oven for about 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Eyes while we're waiting, here are some refreshing facts about watermelons. Did you know that a watermelon is both a fruit and a vegetable? They grow like fruits from flowers, but belong to the same family as cucumbers and pumpkins. Here's another one. The 3rd of August is National Watermelon Day. Also, watermelon is the official state vegetable of Oklahoma. Watermelons can be different. Seeded and seedless. Huge and really small. All in all, there are about 1,200 varieties of watermelon. I guess today we're adding one more type to the list. <laughs> Oh, Sammy. You know what I'd really like to taste? A rectangular watermelon. Ah, that's right. Japanese farmers grow them. Oh, I'd like to taste those too. <gasps> it's the oven. <gasps> Holy cannoli! We'll finish making our cake really soon! Guys, our sponge cakes are ready. And while they were cooling down, we prepared the frosting. Here I combined the egg whites, powdered sugar, salt, butter, and vanilla. Ah, so it's a standard buttercream. We got it. But how will we make our cake look like a watermelon? Ah, give me a second and you'll see. Hop. Great. We divided our frosting into two equal parts. One of them we'll put aside, and the other one is going to be colored. It's important to make the buttercream look as bright as the sponge cakes. Add all the necessary colors until you get the perfect shade. <laughs> All right. Guys, you should probably use a cake turntable here to spread the frosting evenly all around the cake. But first, we need to layer the sponges with our beautiful and tasty radish buttercream. Here we go. <laughs> ah, this whole process is kind of meditative. It's like coloring. All of the four sponge cakes should get an equal amount of buttercream. Am I right, Susie? Absolutely. Now we'll scatter those mini chocolate chips on top of the frosting. Mm -hmm. That'll do. And place the second sponge. There. Awesome. Susie, can I please do the rest of the layers? <laughs> of course. But leave the upper layer of the cake without frosting for now. I'm done, Sue! Let's see. Uh huh. <laughs> Perfect, Sammy. Now, guys, watch closely. This is why a cake turntable is kind of necessary for this craft. As well as the piping bag, by the way. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> Guys, be very careful and very attentive. The red part of our cake should not peek through the cream. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. There. Now we need to make sure that the frosting is firm enough. 
Let's put it into the fridge for 30 minutes. All right, guys, it's all done. The frosting is firm. Now we can continue with the upper part. We'll apply some colored frosting to the top of the cake. This way. Uh-huh. And now we'll spread it evenly all over the top. Ah, uh, Sue, I think that's yours. Oh, that's just what I need. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, hold it, Sammy! Ah, uh, what now? Because we're not done yet! The last part for today, watermelon stripes. Guys, put on the rubber gloves unless you want to scare people off with green fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as if you're turning into the Hulk! Roar! We'll use a natural sponge to apply the colors onto the cake this way. Watch closely now. Let's start with green stripes. We'll do it like this. If you see pink color peeking out a little, don't worry. The green will cover it. Guys, you can ask an adult to help you at this stage. Doing this together will be fun! As soon as you're done with the green color, use another sponge for the yellow. It's okay to say it doesn't exactly look like a watermelon. Wait, Sammy. Why are you always so impatient? Just give it a little more time. And watch this. <laughs> well, what do you say now, Sammy? Whoa! Now we're talking! We're almost at the finish line, guys. Let's use some magic. Here we go. Guys, just be careful with a knife. Sammy's right. You'd better ask an adult to help you. Hop. There we go. Carefully. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Sammy, that's a piece for you. Ah, finally, I can taste it. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. Guys, I really hope you like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Oh, and Defo tried to make this cake at home. Bye! Mm -hmm. See ya!